What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, I'm going to be showing off my expanded Picaram list, going over the deck, talking about its strengths and weaknesses, as well as showing off some recent gameplay footage from my streams. So if you haven't checked me out already on Twitch, make sure to follow the channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim, where we stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Let's take a look at the deck. Picaram, great deck in both standard and expanded format. It's going to be getting a lot more tools that it needs to be successful in standard format with the release of Sword and Shield. Expanded, this deck has absolutely everything it could possibly want. In fact, the hardest part about building a Picaram deck in expanded format is narrowing it down to just 60 cards. There are some cards that we can't fit into the list because it is just that powerful of a deck with so many different options to play uh, with all of the offerings expanded format has. So the goal of the deck obviously is to use full blitz, accelerate lightning energy into play, and then we have all of, all of these different lightning attackers that we can choose to pivot to depending on whichever strategy our opponent is using to try and counteract whatever they are doing. So Picaram does do most of the heavy lifting in the deck. And as you can see, we play two copies of Picaram and then everybody else is just a one of attacker. We're actually pretty light on the attackers with only two copies of Picaram, one copy of Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX. One copy of Zero Aura GX and a 1-1 one, one Jolteon GX line. We don't have any non-GX attackers or uh, I guess outside of Tapu Koko Prism Star who we definitely can attack with in this deck. No Zapdos, uh, no Jirachis, just some Pokemon GX with a full-blown turbo engine to support it. And as you can see, we play... 38 trainer cards in this deck with only 10 Pokemon. There is a ton of trainer action going on and a lot of cards that make this deck very explosive. So definitely a trainer heavy deck, but we do have a healthy amount of supporters so that we can draw under the conditions of item lock or anything like that. The Jolteon is really cool in this deck and with the energy evolution EV, it's very easy to get it into play on the first turn of the game. The Jolteon's a fantastic starter. If you're able to get the Jolteon into the active position early, the free retreat offered by Jolteon GX allows you to easily max elixir to your Pikachu and Zekrom to launch quick full blitz attacks. It also is a great free retreating pivot for your Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX, whose Tandem Shock attack does more damage and paralyzes if it became the active Pokemon this turn. So Jolteon GX, a great pivot for that, but a fantastic starter, like I said, because it's just a very energy cost efficient attacker. You can Electro Bullet soften up big targets if you have to, but usually you'll just energy evolve an EV if you happen to start it into your Jolteon and then start using max elixirs to juice up your Picaroms or your Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX's max elixir is the card that really ramps up the speed and power of this deck in expanded format as compared to a Picarom list in standard format. Max Elixir allows you to look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a basic energy card you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. So it is very possible to get turn one full blitz, turn one tag bolt attacks, especially when you combine Electro Power, or Choice Band, four one hit knockouts on opposing tag team Pokemon. I am uh, definitely, uh, definitely have gotten Turn one tag bolts for 290 to knock out Pokemon GX in uh, the active position. You get turn one tandem shocks for huge amounts of damage as well. Turn one lightning ride GXs for one hit KOs on tag team Pokemon and two. And a lot of that has to do with max elixir. And since we do have ultra ball at our disposal, it's very easy to get lightning energy into the discard pile for our Tapu Koko Prism Star. So Dance of the Ancients, very easy to pull off. I do like including Nest Ball in the deck too because it just gives us an extra out to a basic Pokemon like Eevee or Tapu Koko that maybe you don't want to have to discard. It just allows you to get more basics into play quicker. And I think I could definitely see a second Nest Ball going into the deck, maybe over Field Blower, but Field Blower is just a nice little utility card to have, even though it will get discarded sometimes on the first turn of the game as you kind of turbo through your deck. Field Blower is nice to just remove tool cards, can get you out of Garbodor Lock if you want your abilities back. It can remove Focus Sashes, uh, a lot of different things 
uh, that you could do with the field blower. So I do like that as an option. Four copies of Trainer's Mail really contributes to the turbo aspect of this deck. And when I say turbo, it means that you could easily burn through most of your deck within the first couple turns of the game. Four Trainer's Mail basically acts like Jirachi does in standard format, except instead of looking at the top five, you look at the top four, but it doesn't matter who you have in the active position. So it just gives you that little extra dig to your deck to help piece together combo pieces, whether you're looking for a stadium card or a supporter card or you know an energy switch, electro power, whatever. The trainer's mail gives every hand a little bit more of a selective dig, which is very useful in a deck like this that wants to piece together various combo pieces like max elixir, energy switch, electro power, and so on and so forth. So I really like four copies of trainer's mail. We also have three copies of Versus Seeker, which is great for being able to pull some of our one of supporters or two of supporters back from the discard pile. The Cassius is a really cool card in Peak Around. I want to talk about this a little bit. I saw it played in the top eight list from Portland, Oregon. It allows you to shuffle one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So that is an amazing card for giving Picaram some survivor survivability. If the Picaram takes some damage, you could just play Cassius, shuffle the Picaram or whichever attacker you want back into the deck and then full blitz to get that energy from the attacker back into play. So a very cool, flexible card and Cassius being able to pull back, uh, you know, get pulled back with the Versus Seeker is very powerful. Colrus, insane draw card, allowing you to shuffle up to, <laughs> shuffle draw up to, uh, what, 16 if you and your opponent both uh, have a full bench under Skyfield, but usually draws you anywhere between 6 and 8 or so. Guzma, having two copies of Guzma rather than one just gives you the ability to see it earlier since we don't play the Battle Compressor engine. It doesn't really make sense to only play one copy of such an important game-winning card like Guzma. Guzma is also an essential switch card giving you the ability to tandem shock for big numbers since that is our only switch card in the deck. One copy of N and then four copies of Professor Juniper. I really love four copies of Professor Juniper in a deck like this because you want to see it on the first turn of the game. Like I said, playing low counts of supporters makes me kind of nervous, especially with versus seekers in the deck because you want to see your supporters first. Ideally, we want to set up every game. If we start with an Ultra Ball or whatever, you want to set up into a Juniper and then play the Juniper so that you get to see a large number of cards, more than 10 cards on the first turn of the game. And then with Trainer's Mails in the mix, you're going to see even more cards than that. You want to see at least a third of your deck or so on the first turn of the game. And having a high count of Professor Juniper, make sure that that absolutely happens. And then the more cards like Nest Ball you have in the deck uh, are going to give you outs to go get cards like Picaram early so that you never have to Juniper a Max Elixir without playing it. That's really the only downfall of playing a high count of Professor Juniper is that sometimes you might have to Juniper resources you didn't want to Juniper. And by making sure that you always have an out to your basic Pokemon with cards like Nest Ball and Ultra Ball, then it shouldn't be something that happens all too often because most of your hands are going to have it out to a Picaram before you have to play the Juniper. Now, we also have three Stadium cards in the deck. I really like that. Just relying on Thunder Mountain and the Silent Lab means that sometimes you might get the Silent Lab stuck there without having a counter stadium to turn your you know your um, abilities back on. Also, you want another counter stadium just to counteract Power Plant and things like that to turn your Shamans back on, to turn your Zara Aura's Thunderclap Zone back on as well. I also really like the Computer Search in this deck over the dowsing machine computer search just makes this deck all that more explosive and i've omitted the flash energy from the deck i'm not exactly sure that the flash energy are going to be winning you matchups against the super aggressive fighting decks anyway uh, i think that uh, having a higher count of lightning energy just makes the deck that much more aggressive and consistent since you will never miss max elixirs by running into flash energy instead and also their energy that can always be retrieved from the discard pile with Tapu Coco Prism Star. But anyways, that's enough about the deck. Check out the gameplay. And if you're looking for the newest PTCGO codes, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com where we have PTCGO codes for instant email delivery. We just got restocked with Cosmic Eclipse and some Unbroken Bonds codes too. Thank you all so much for supporting Full Grip Games and uh, hopefully enjoy the gameplay. 
JW, I'm telling you, JW, just watch for a little bit. Just watch. Soak it in, man. Tell you, the Cassius in the Picarom deck is actually nutters. Like, that card is bonkers. You just Cassius somebody in after they've taken a hit, and then you just full blitz again. It's insane. And all the energy go back into the deck. It's like better than Mallow and Lana, which is insane. Now, I, I think, like, did my opponent just choose to go second? Now I'm scared. I think my opponent definitely chose to go second. Always be frightened when your opponent chooses to go second. Never trust it. For sure. I do want to throw a great catcher into like every deck though. So I think, oh, they're playing Turbo Dark. That deck ain't that turbo. You ain't got it like that, bro. That deck ain't turbo like that. All right, let's go. So we're going to get ourselves what, Pika. And then we can Ultra Ball for the Tapu Koko. Eh, no, we got to go for Shaman or something. Shaman. Yeah. To be honest, we're not using this Verse Seeker on the first turn of the game. Yeah, let's go. So we can just go. It's like there's no battle compressor, so you just let the verse seekers go in this deck. Yeah. And then Shaman turn one is good. Mail first. Skirt. Now you think they really popping off? They might knock out my Zero Aura turn one, I guess. So I don't even know that I'm gonna put an energy on it. There's not really anybody better to like retreat into, you know? I mean, yup, that all looks pretty good. I don't necessarily want to Juniper this, but like, probably will. I most certainly do not want to Colrus for three. So we're just going to ship it. All right. I'm chilling. I don't think there's any point in using the Tapu Coco yet. Just gonna pass. You're right, you could theoretically retreat into Eevee there, but like, it's fine. I mean, they got an Acerola in their Turbo Dark deck and they're still choosing to go second. That's how. Akbuck, if this deck gets the turn one Guzma GX on my Picaram. I don't know, man. People really be out there whispering to this Turbo Dark deck. I don't know how they do it. I do like Computer Search, for sure. I feel like Computer Search is just such a good, consistent card. Douglas, I took the Coco GX out. I prefer Raichu Raichu. There was a list that top aided Portland and it played no Raichu and Alolan Raichu, but it played the um, Coco GX. I personally prefer Raichu Raichu. So this thing's got an effective 290 HP. That's quite a bit. 
However, I do have a lot of that combo already to do that much damage with the Tag Bolt, which is nice. And then all I have to do is, like, knock out one more. The real question is... Can I Tag Bolt for six next turn? That would be legit. Because if I can, I mean, we could just take like five prizes, which would be lit. Yes, I have Blue Fire. Card's awesome. Tio Akbuck, that's crazy. I mean, the deck is definitely capable of doing it. I just haven't seen it yet. I mean, they're already doing way more. Yeah, there they go. Turn one, 190. That's fine. You know, I can still take this knockout for sure. I think we just silent lab and go and just say, hmm, I shut off my own Coco. That or I just like lean into the turbo. Ah, we're just going to Juniper. I'm going to leave it. I could have totally just gone for it. <sighs> it's fine. I will still... Eh, the Verdian kind of helps them. So I've done two. We can comp search. Choice band. Ultra ball for a shaman and go. Something like that. Okay. So we're going to go here. Lightning in the discard. Let's see how many. I already have three lightning in the discard. That's probably fine though. I like using setup with ultra ball in hand, but. We're just going to go there. And then hope we draw into... That's fine. Got Picarom. Picarom's not really the ideal guy. I think we want Raichu, Raichu. So we can Ultra Ball away these. Get Raichu, Raichu. And then Dance of the Ancients, you never know. And then next turn we get to end. So right now I'm doing full blitz. I have plus 90. So I am full blitzing for um, 40. Yeah, 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 I'm 30 short. So we're just going to tag bolt. 290. So Tap Tapu Coco V could have just done that without using the GX attack, which is so insane. So we'll take our three there. Now obviously they can like respond potentially with a dark cleave or something. I'm not exactly sure how we Finish the game off without our Zara Aura. Losing the Zara Aura early was really tough. Well, I do know. We actually are going to finish off a Shaman, so that's how we're going to do it. So I can retreat and use Tandem Shock for 190 and end my opponent to 1 if they take the knockout here. 
and then so we're going to knock out a dark ride gx and then we're going to knock out a shaman ex and then i will just need to find a guzma and an energy for game to be able to take out a shaman no yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's it So I think that's what we're looking at. V card, I'm definitely. I mean, the thing is, is like where Turbo Dark can do, you know, ramp a lot more damage than Pikaram. Um, Pikaram does do more with less. I would say. Did they get the laser? Or are they just going to dark cleave? If they dark cleave, pack it up, boys. This game is for sure done. And yes, Zach, I told you. Broken deck. All right. Yes, Zach, for sure. With uh, with Sword and Shield, Picaram is going to be a top three deck in standard format. Absolutely. <sighs> they just shame scoop, man. They weren't even going to dark cleave. They didn't even want to do it. What's up, Billy? I think if I were going to Dallas, I'm pretty set that I would be playing Pika Ram. It just has so many options. It can beat a lot of different decks. And it's it doesn't have the target on its back. I mean, that's like the big thing. It's not the deck that everybody is uh, Everybody's going to be gunning for. It does get caught up in the fighting craze, though. It can also beat Rowlet and Alolan Exeggutor. Rowlet and Alolan Exeggutor, this is one of the scariest matchups for that deck. Uh, but we did just have to discard our Jolteon. So... It's a free dub, literally, if we just if we just set the Jolteon up, that matchup is free. But, ah, eh, well. Can't always get what you want, chat. So, we're going to have to figure it out the old-fashioned way. The good old-fashioned Tag Bolt GX. Okay, it's Nest Ball. Got the Zero Aura. All my other GXs are prized. It's lit. Who needs them? Not me. So I think what we want to do... Shaman first. We're going to Ultra Ball away. Juniper and the Lightning. fail it and then I kind of want to keep the Viridian just in case they play power plant because I think we're going like to retreat into the Zero Aura oh yeah for sure And then I could just Cassius. Next turn. Just in case they play Silent Lab or anything like that. And we could data change. I mean, I could. Just go for it. I think I'll just wait till next turn. Yeah, I'm going to wait till next turn. <sighs> so we'll see what their turn one looks like. But Pikaram's one advantage in this matchup is that we get to Tag Bolt GX, um, which means that we can take out a benched Vileplume. So if they set up, like, 
the vile plume that says that my basics can't attack then we're going to try and tag bolt it when it's on the bench and then we have to the losing scenario is if they set up two of them but Yeah, losing that Jolteon in that opening hand is such a bummer. It's literally why it's in the deck, is for this matchup. If they set up a second one, we do just lose, though. Unless there are enough prizes on the board otherwise. So, like, if they drop a second Rowlet Alolan Exeggutor, we could potentially win. So, like, the real sick play for us to pull off would be to, like, tag bolt, knock out the roll Rowlet and Alolan Exeggutor, and knock out the Bench Vile Plume too. It looks like they're going for item lock first, so that's fine, because I actually just have the full blitz in my hand. I don't want to give them the Viridian, actually. I think I just like this hand, so. My Guzma's in the deck. And by keeping the Viridian and the Dedenny in my hand, JW, that's true. I actually really like the idea of Target Whistle. But I'm not playing Dowsing Machine, so I'm like a little bit hesitant to run one of trainer cards or one of item cards that I can't retrieve in any way. Okay. And so we officially, I think with them benching all of that stuff, we officially win this matchup. I do not think that they can win because they have too many benched cards. So, like, they got three, four, five, six. Not to mention I'm going to tag bolt this. Like, if this is, yeah, anything but that. I think I can Guzma and tag bolt both of these. No, I actually have the Guzma in my hand now, so I literally just full blitz this Rowlet and a lone egg again. And then if they evolve into that other thing... Then I tag bolt it. I Guzma around it and tag bolt it. But I'm not going to waste my tag bolt yet until I actually see the Vile Plume. And that's exactly what this is going to be. Because it's in the hand, Speed Lemon. So I know that they've got they've got the Burning Shadows Vile Plume in their hand. So they're going to play it down to the active. And then I'm going to Tag Bolt it. So I wanted to wait for them because that means that the other one is prized, right? Or that they only play one. I think the Sceptile version only plays one copy of the Burning Shadows Vile Plume. So I was going to wait for them to put it into play. That's right. No leaks on this hand, bro. No leaks. This hand is the gassy gas. All right. At this point, I feel pretty comfortable just tag bolting both of these fools. And then I think I just, like, most definitely win. I know I'm about to get end.
So we'll just take those. And then, like, what are they going to throw up to stop me? I do like uh, Ralex. I, I call it Ralex. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Picaram, with the option to Tag Bolt, especially in expanded format, Tag Bolt is so much better in expanded format than it is in standard. Um, the ability to very easily take five prizes. Quick Jam! Yo, thank you so much, Quick Jam, for that sub. Let's go. Three months. Appreciate you, Quick Jam. Yeah, um, def, uh, try to think of it as chess. You can't interact with your opponent when you're playing chess, right? Same thing. And it's like you try to set up your board state to be able to with, withstand anything that your opponent might do during their turn. They are very different. My major complaint about Magic the Gathering is that there's not really any draw. And you don't always see a lot of your deck. So then it's like, you just get these game states where it's like, oh no, I was mana swamped. Or oh no, I was mana dry. And it's just like, that's why you get, I mean, people try to like mana weave their decks and stuff and you know, because, like, you don't really see a lot of your deck. That's what I'm saying. So, Def, like, that to me is not fun, right? Because in a Pokemon deck, you're going to see most of your deck every single game. Now, I started a horrible hand here. One thing I do envy about Magic, though, is the ability to force a mulligan draw. I do wish that Pokemon had that. That's one thing I really like. Yeah, and I've drafted Magic a couple times. Like, that's the only way that I've played Magic is from drafting. And, yeah, it's like the, the whole mana thing. is like, oh, man, I opened a trash hand. I didn't draw any mana. Or, like, you know, it seemed, like, good, and then I drew, like, six creatures in a row, and then I lost. Let's see. I guess I could have energy switched that off. Now we'll max elixir. There we go. And then we're going to energy switch that off. Let's go. And then set up for four. Okay. So uh, we can get zero aura, I guess, and retreats. Could also get Eevee. <laughs> Zero Aura is good. That's fine. Yo, that's awesome, Epic Mouse. I think in... Yo, we're getting end? <sighs> Should have benched that beaker on. Was not expecting to get end here. Now this hand. Glorious. Yo, ADP eels. I'm honored that I get to see this deck in action, bro. Let's go. Alter... Man, three eels turn two. Looking hot, bro. Drag for life wants a pack of evolutions. You got it, drag for life. All right. Now, what my opponent doesn't know is that this ADP is about to get turbo punished. Okay. Woo! 
let's go. So we need to retreat, and we need to get the Lightning Ride GX. That's what we're looking for. Let's trainer's mail first, see what we get. Take the choice ban. Computer search. Now, Shaman into Denny. I like the idea of using Shaman here because I could potentially get some lightning energy in the discard pile for our boy. And get Picarom. I actually might just go with like Jolty on this game to be honest. Seems kind of good. Yeah, live a little. Let's go. Okay, so we got the energy for the active. We've got this. How many Electro Powers this turn have I used? Three Electro Power? Have I used three? It seems like where we're at. I think it's three. So we're at... 3, 6, 9, 12. I mean, that's a Tandem Shock knockout. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we're getting there. I kind of like, I guess I, Picaram is probably better than Jolteon here. Just because, like, I might not even use my Lightning Ride GX. Yo, 280! Let's go! That's a tandem shock for 280 damage. Coming in hot. I don't know. Raichu Raichu is just the GOAT. That's what I'm saying. That top eight list that didn't play Raichu Raichu, I mean, that was a gas list. I did base some of this off of that list for sure. But I... Phew, the scoop. He scoops. He scores. Busted peak. I mean, Peak just does everything, chat. It does everything. I do want to take a look at my Jirachi version of Picaram too, but I think this version is honestly looking more stable, more versatile. There are more options in this version, so I like this version more, I think. Now, I took out the Flash Energy too. I'm like... Man, I do not think that two flash energy is going to beat a fighting deck. Do you? I mean, you really think so? Two, fi two flash energy? All right, and we're going first against a Honchkrow deck. That's cool. Against Tonchkro, honestly, Jolteon is insane against Tonchkro. So. All 
I'm into it. It's just like free knockouts. And we'll set up for five. Lightning energy, turn one Jolteon would be sick. Ah! Fine. This is fine. <laughs> and I'll wait. Brian, I tend to agree with you there. Three Vo TV says Guzma and Hala to grab Flash, Energy, Thunder Mountain, and Choice Band isn't bad. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. A lot of people really just love Guzma and Hala. I don't know where the divide is. There's so many Guzma Hala fans out there, and I just like I can't. I would just rather draw cards, especially since I'm not playing. I really only like Guzma Hala. I think if I'm playing like the tag engine. Oh, that's fine. I actually prefer that. Thank you. Very good. It's a good draw for us. Got the Zero Aura, got the Electro Power. All I need is an energy. Choice band here. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Like, I mean, they're going to hit the energy arm not off this, so. Cool. The sick, nasty Jolteon out. And I'm just forgoing peek around at this point. Like, we're just, yep, you know, cool. And then Raichu Raichu will get in there for the filthy tandem shock for 280, just like we saw last game. Housen, especially with the free retreat Jolteon. Yo, that's awesome, Zach. Glad you're digging... Uh, tag team if you guys haven't make sure to check out riley and jw's tag team podcast super good they do an excellent job they do their podcast i think like every wednesday it's usually after the full group games league tournament so if you guys are usually tuning in for that i usually raid them right afterwards but they do an excellent podcast where they talk about like meta forecasts and things like that yeah Kazuma, I definitely would be inclined to agree with you. So I'm doing what? 150, 180, 210. Still need quite a bit. Um, right? Yeah. 160, 190, 220. Oh, if I hit one more electro power? Sure. We'll ship it. Yeah. 
Goodbye, Coco. Ah, we could also just do this the old-fashioned way. With a nice old Lightning Ride GX. You guys feel me on that? Y'all ready for this? Dun dun uh, dun 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 da. Dun 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 dun. Hey, let's go, chat. Skirt. Man, I would like to lightning ride GX for way too much damage. Goodbye. Oh, broken deck, chat. It's broken deck. Tell you, I can't get enough. If I'm playing expanded format, I'm playing this deck. Period, bro. Period. This is the deck. All right, I'll move on, though, because I know you guys are probably sick of just me playing P 